Hello friends, welcome to my channel English Vocabulary with Mahfoud. Welcome back to another video with another vocabulary and the vocabulary of today will be about at the hospital. So we will see terms uh, of, being, uh, of being at the hospital and how we can know the vocabulary within the hospital. So at the hospital, this is the picture of the hospital first. It's a big building which provides many services to sick people. Okay, so we will see the vocabulary of the hospital. Many words that we don't, we might not know about the hospital. We will know them through this episode, and we will be knowing expressions in the hospital within a dialogue. So we will be knowing and familiar with uh, the expressions that are used within the hospital uh, context. But first, let's see what is the hospital. So the hospital is where people go to receive treatment and undergo surgery to recover and to become healthy again. It's a place that uh, provides, uh, you know, uh, treatments for sick people especially, so that they can recover and become healthy again. At the hospital, we might find this picture. Okay, it's called doctor, and doctor is for female and male both. So the doctor is the person who cures and helps people who are sick, okay? And we find this uh, uh, device that is put on his neck or, or on her neck. It's called a stethoscope. A stethoscope is a device which the doctor uses to check the heartbeat and the respiration. So the stethoscope uh, uh, that the doctor uses is uh, to check the heartbeat of the sick person of any individual and respiration problems of a sick person okay and we have here patient so patient is the sick person who goes to see a doctor so the sick person is called uh, according to the hospital context is called patient okay so remember that At the hospital, again, we find this, it's called prescription. So prescription is the paper which the doctor gives you to get medicaments. So the, 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 the paper that the doctor gives you is called prescription. And the prescription includes the medicament that the sick person should take to recover, of course. And in the picture, we have what we call medicaments and drugs. Sometimes they call them drugs. Both are synonyms. You can use which one you prefer. So medicaments or drugs are the pills and drinks and other form of treatments you get to recover. So when you're sick, you get some medicaments, okay, to recover and to help yourself and to become once again recovered. And in this picture, we have what we call the pharmacy. So pharmacy is the place where medicaments are found. So you go to buy the medicaments in the pharmacy, basically. And within the pharmacy, we find what we call the pharmacist. The, pharma the pharmacist is the person who works in the pharmacy and who gives you your medicaments, according to the prescription we have seen. So the pharmacist just read the prescription and gives you the right medicaments for your disease. In the hospital, we find also what we call Ambulance. So ambulance is a special vehicle which transports injured and sick people to the hospital. Okay. And within the ambulance, we have what we call paramedics. Paramedics are special people who give help to sick people outside the hospital. So when there is a sick people or injured people or injured, uh, injured uh, person, I mean, the paramedics uh, within the ambulance give i mean give him the uh, urgent uh, let's say treatment before going to the hospital okay so they provide they're providing for the sick uh, person uh, some of the treatment before going to the hospital okay and there are people who are specialized in doing many services uh, uh, like uh, doctors and here in the picture we have what we call stretcher so the stretcher is the bed which this sick person is laid on. We don't call it bed, remember, you call it stretcher. It's a specific term used at the hospital. 
and now we will see the hospital dialogue okay so that we can know the uh, dialogues and the expressions that we should use of course uh, within the hospital so we have the first character doctor so it says hello sir let me check your pulse please holding his uh, stethoscope so his stethoscope as it is underlined it's the device which measures the pulse or the uh, heartbeat so the heartbeat and the pulse are synonyms you can use which one you prefer doctor I will write for you a prescription. So prescription, as we have seen, is a paper that includes medicaments. Patient, okay, thank you, doctor. Nurse, may I check your temperature, please? Holding her th thermometer. So uh, the thermometer, as it is underlined, we have seen it in the picture in this video. It's the device which measures the uh, temperature of the body. And it is used by the nurse, of course. Paramedics, let's put him on the stretcher. The ambulance must leave now. So the stretcher is the bed that is uh, made for the uh, patients. And the ambulance is the vehicle that is special to carry uh, the uh, patients as well. Pharmacist, what medicaments do you want? So the medicaments are the pills and drinks and other treatments that help uh, the sick person to recover. Patient, I have a favor. Pharmacist, here you go. Patient, okay, thank you. Have a great day. Good day to you all. And if you like the video, just click the like button. If you're not a subscriber yet, just try to subscribe to my channel to receive like these videos. And I hope I can see you in the next video. Till then, bye.